Okay, finishing up on the uh, Swan 1200X that I picked up recently. Um, cleaned it up some. I'm not a real good cleaner, you know, fix them up or make them look like new like some people do. But um, I think I'm pretty good at getting them working. So we cleaned it up a little bit. Uh, wiped her down and uh, changed a few parts. Um, got her up and going. Um, over here is um, the parts I changed. Recapped it. It originally had these big old uh, screw-in caps, you know, probably from the 60s, I guess. Um, and these much smaller modern electrolytics there um, have the same power, and I actually upped the voltage with the same amount of UFs in it um, over here. So, And this amp also had mitch, mismatched caps in it with this gray one over here being a little bit different than the um, the blue ones there but um, anyway we got all new matching caps um, up the ratings a little bit on it and uh, cleaned it up a little bit didn't you know do anything real fancy to try to make it look great um, it was you know dusty we kinda undusted it and wiped her down and um, recapped it and got her going so that's what she looks like on the top Actually, let me turn it off and uh, turn it over right quick. Um, basic uh, grounded grid ham amplifier. Somebody had already taken out the um, ham bands in it. I guess originally it came came with 10 through uh, 80 meters. And there's the band switch there. But um, there's nothing. There is no more band switch. It's just a screw. And um, the knob goes to nothing. And back here... It, it's got the uh, 10 meter coil on only in it. Over there is your uh, tune cap, Pi network coil, uh, load cap, four tubes, you know, parasitics. I like that. Not all CB amps have parasitics. Um, blocking cap, some heavy duty. Um, metal in there for a little you know four two you know a little four five hundred watt amp main transformer relay it actually had um, the same relay in it but the relay was all burnt up you know that's the relay that was in it I'm like oh boy I'm not even gonna key it down with that so we put a brand new relay in it some more caps um, these here black cat caps it had them for the safety caps um, 0 0.004s you know going to um, the AC lines to ground um, it catch spikes and and all that but the ham bands call these little things these little black cat or black caps the black uh, beauties of death and the reason that the ham bands say that is these caps when they go wrong or they catch a surge that you know kill them or just age they short they short out and if you have them on safety caps you know they'll short that AC line straight to ground creating a hot chassis which is not good um, or if you have them in a different place like in the um, audio chain or you know even the RF chain with high voltage going through these things and they short out you get high voltage or whatever going where it's not supposed to go and it takes out you know your transmitter or radio or whatever you're doing they got these in some of the um, the Collins R390A's and they're also known to you know short out and take out a section of the uh, infamous R390A and they're called the Black Beauties of Death so we got rid of the Black Beauties and put in modern safety caps and a lot of people don't know the difference between a safety cap and a regular cap like these is again these caps if they go they may open they may short and these black ones here are known to short dead short and again that's going to cause problems a real safety cap the X1's Y2's and some other ratings what they are known to do is open in in all cases 
So if they got a problem or an overload or, or whatever going through them, they'll open like a fuse instead of shorting out. So that's why they are, you know, rated safety caps. They won't short, so they won't um, create a hot chassis and kill you or, or kill your components or whatever in it. So um, I recommend always on these old um, boat anchors, replace the... Um, caps going to the AC for the surge and all that with uh, modern safety caps so anyway I got some heavy or it actually had some heavy duty bleeders in it so even though we're not going to test it we are going to carefully turn it over and show the uh, bottom side of it the bottom side wasn't bad it was just the top side um, that looked pretty bad um, that's the uh, cap board and those blue ones are new um, modern bleeders got heavy be bleeders in it um, your diodes this one is a voltage doubler circuit they use that's the new uh, blue safety caps there that replace the um, black beauties of death and it's been recapped this does have a little bit of a tuned input there and that's about all to the bottom of this thing um, not not a bad looking from the bottom bottom looks a lot better than the top does right so anyway we're gonna turn her back over and see if we can fire her up somebody did add a uh, keying relay not the keying relay a keying circuit uh, RF sniffer keying circuit in it and it worked so that was underneath we left it in there so it looks like we got nothing touching or anything so we gonna turn it on and we got it on standby lighted meter we like that you know standard stuff uh, tune and low band switch but uh, this one is mono banded 10, 10 meters only and uh, bypass is standby tune is low and then SSB is high and then it's got a um, cathode current it measures um, current on the meter and then if you turn the dial um, it'll measure relative output on the same meter so anyway it's in standby um, Mud Duck Radio going into um, little Black Hat JB200 uh, amplifier this one I rigged up it's got adjustable bias and a tune and a load over here on the back I can get a picture of it there we go the tuning load so I like this guy um, variable in the back uh, variable bias here and a tuning load so we like it so anyway on standby 200 watt scale on average dead key in 15 listen to 100 so that's what we putting in the, to this guy and Hopefully it's warmed up and we didn't move too much um, messing around with this thing. So on the low side, and we're going to go over to the uh, 2000 watt scale. So now we did can about 70. And going to 200, actually it was going to 250, but we must have uh, moved something when we was turning it over and everything. And then on the um, high side, on average yeah I lost a few watts by turning it over and playing with it but doing about 350 there if I could pick it and tune it up and all that I can get um 50 more but we're gonna put it on peak we're not gonna do that with a camera in one hand and a mic in the other and trying to tune and load so audio 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 so about 450 peak and again if I peaked it up and everything we do um, 500 peak and that's all we getting out of it we even tried kicking it harder and um, we can't get anything over 500 peak we can get the dead key up and uh, a few more watts RMS and and all that but with all that 500 peak is all we gonna get out of this thing so that's going to be it for the 4-6LQ6 um, tube. Um, 
no it's not it's the six lf6 tubes in in this thing um the swan 1200x okay that's it for this one bye